An American has died after she and her friend were attacked near a popular German tourist spot and thrown off a cliff. The suspect, who is also American, is now in custody following an intense manhunt. This happened at the Neuschwanstein Castle on Wednesday. The suspect allegedly assaulted the woman after persuading them to follow him down a secluded path. Police say he then shoved them down a steep slope. The women were rescued and brought to a hospital, but the 21-year-old woman died. Her 22-year-old friend is in serious condition still, but was able to speak to her rescuers. Joining us now is trial attorney Mercedes Colwin. Uh, Mercedes, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. My pleasure, Natasha. Thanks for having me. It's such a disturbing case. Um, this man, a 30-year-old American, will he be tried in Germany for this? It's a great question, Natasha. Well, there's two very distinct systems. Here, we have the adversarial system. We're used to We have a jury trial. We have prosecutors. We have defense attorneys. In Germany, it is completely different. It's non-adversarial. So you have the prosecution that will come forward with the evidence against the suspect. And the judge is the ju the jury. And the judge is the same individual that's going to sentence the individual. And the judge is the person who asks all the questions. It is such a different system. And because the crime occurred in Germany, and frankly, because there's such different systems in place with a non-adversarial system in Germany, it's likely that he will be tried in Germany. It'll be interesting to see if the suspect will try to get to the embassy and see because the victims are American, he's an American, it is a completely different system in Germany, whether he can actually come to the United States and have the, the trial here under our system and then serve his prison time if he's found guilty back in Germany. That's very complicated. Could this take longer to get justice for these women because it happened in another country? It could. I mean, it takes up to about six months, uh, just reading the literature about how long it takes for a suspect to actually be arraigned, then have the some a determination whether he's actually going to be tried for these cases, for these charges. But, so it will take some time, up to six months, and then the trial could take some time thereafter. You know, if you were extradited here, it would be much more accelerated. It seems after he led them down the trail, he attacked the 21-year-old. He then choked the 22-year-old, pushed her down the slope, and then tried to sexually assault the 21-year-old. What kind of charges, what kind of time could he be looking at for all of this, also for fleeing after the fact? Well, certainly the attempted murder of the 22-year-old that still survives. God willing, she will survive. I know she's in serious condition. Murder for the 21-year-old and the attempted rape for both of the individuals. And they, the way the system works, if you are convicted of murder, it is a life sentence. You would be eligible for parole at, after serving 15 years. Okay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.